Hi YouTube, welcome back to the final episode of the Joy of Life Challenge Generation 1. I literally cannot believe we are one generation down and like 60,000 more to go. Honestly, this challenge has so many generations that I'm mentally having to prepare myself for the future, but I also am gonna have to mentally prepare myself to lose Neve because she is now about 63 years old and she is gonna be coming to the end of our lifespan. So we are officially moving on to generation two today. I'm very sad, but also very excited as well. So it's like mixed emotions, but you might also notice the messages right over here. And these are from my friends over on Twitch, which is actually where I stream this series live. Link will be in the description of this video. If you wanna go ahead and watch me back over there, uh, you're more than welcome to come and join. We play loads of Sims. Uh, we also play some other games over there as well. I've been playing Minecraft. So if you're interested, go ahead and check me out over there as well. But let's go and jump into the game because I've done a few different things since the last episode that I want to update you guys on as per usual. Obviously, Neve is looking, Neve is looking, she's looking, you know, considerably older in this, um, in this, you know, in this picture right here. I haven't had the heart to remove Neve's skin yet. Sorry if you hear a bunch of noise in the background. My dad um, doesn't understand that, that you have to be quiet late at night, but anyways. <laughs> Um, so I didn't quite have the heart to remove Neve's skin yet. Underneath the skin, she has way more wrinkles, but without the skin, she just doesn't look the same as the Neve that I love. So I might remove her skin and it will make her look considerably older, but that, but I'll do that later. You know, like I'm going to wait a little bit. Um, I'd say when she turns in my eyes, like 70 years old, then I'll get rid of the skin. Right now, I can imagine she's just looking real good for her age, you know, like... <laughs> She's just looking real good for a, you know, a 63 year old. But um, I went ahead and gave her a little bit more wrinkles just to make her, you know, suit her age a little bit more. So I gave her more wrinkles around the face right here because obviously Neve's a big smiler. So I definitely imagine that she would smile a lot. She also obviously has the usual wrinkles that she had. And I also gave her some bags and some more wrinkles around the eyes as well. Um, and I also gave her some wrinkles right here. And yeah, she's looking, she's looking quite a bit older. These are, if you guys want to know what these wrinkles are, these ones are the new wrinkles that came out by Northern Siberia Winds. Yes, Cryptid. Um, they are, honestly, they're amazing. They're so good, aren't they? Um, so these are the wrinkles by Northern Siberia Winds if you want to download them. These wrinkles right here are actually wrinkles that I converted. They're from the base game. They automatically get applied to elders, but I just converted them um, to a different category in The Sims just so that I could use them with my skin overlays so that, again, Neve doesn't look like a completely different person. She still looks like the Neve that we love and behold her. <laughs> we behold her beauty. Um, but yeah, so... She's looking a little bit older. Um, I also went ahead and gave Emiliano, <laughs> I'm so sorry. Honestly, Emiliano's standing there like so naked right now. I feel awful, like just, I I'm just gonna hide him because that's like, that's too much, I'm sorry. This, this man is like 60, he's trying to have a shower. And honestly, like Emiliano, I do love you and you're, you are aging like a fine wine, my man. But sometimes you need to put a cap on that bottle, okay? Because we, there's some things that we don't need to see and that, that might be that. It really might be. Um, okay, so next little update was I gave Charlotte a makeover. Let me just bring her out into the hallway just so we can see her properly. But I gave Charlotte a little makeover. Um, obviously, she is a, um, you know, she's an influencer. She's doing really, really well. So um, I gave her a little, you know, a little update. I should, this, oh, the, sorry, the lighting in the room. <laughs> it's like literally awful. Let me bring her outside into more natural lighting. Um, Oh yeah, it's because the lights are on in here in the hallway. I forgot to turn them off. Um, so yeah, I gave Charlotte a few different uh, outfits. I also gave her a new hair and I dyed her hair to be more of a platinum blonde uh, just because I felt like, you know, she's um, she's had the honey blonde for quite a while and the honey blonde was like, so it wasn't as, uh, you know, such a severe difference between her, um, you know, like auburn colored hair that she had before. So yeah, I went ahead and gave her the platinum blonde. Honestly, she looks incredible. I also changed up some of her skin details as well. And I gave her some different eyelashes um, and changed up her lipstick. So she might look a little bit different, but I feel like it's like a better version of herself. You know, I feel like um, she still looks the same, just, you know, just better, <laughs> that's all. Um, I also gave her some uh, acrylic nails with, um, you know, with some tips and I also painted her toenails as well. Also realizing those toenails are looking they look like they need to be repainted, honestly. They look like all over the place. <laughs> but yeah, doesn't she look so good with Platinum Blonde? She 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 looks like a natural blonde. 
Honestly, I feel like she could have got away with being a natural blonde as well. Um, I gave her some different outfits. So she does have the same outfits as before. Um, but I also gave her this outfit right here. And she looks so freaking good in this one too. I'm at work right now, but I Aaron! just wanted to pop in and say hello. I love you. I hope you're all doing well, Lolly. <laughs> oh, thank you so much. I hope work goes okay. You're gonna be finishing at ten soon, so hopefully not too long, right? And um, thank you so much for the thirty-five freaking months, guys. Please, could we get some love in the chat for Erin as well, please? Thank you, thank you. Um, yeah, so I gave her this outfit because um, it is actually Thanksgiving today, so I wanted to have. Um, you know, her to have a, a new party outfit because I actually didn't give Charlotte like a makeover since she was a teenager. So all of her outfits were the same as when she was at school, which doesn't really make sense. So yeah, I gave her a little makeover. I also gave her this outfit, which can we just can, like, can we just take a moment? Like, can we please? Is she or is she not an icon? Is she or is she not that girl? Because like, please. She is just, oh, she's so good. Yeah, like actual slay. She's so buff, she is. She does a lot of training. So she has like a, you, know, you can see like the muscles in her legs and everything. She is a, she's a buff girl, like she's just pretty buff. Uh, but yeah, so I gave her um, a different makeover. Um, I also gave her a new hair in this outfit as well. So she's got slight, slightly shorter hair in this. I kind of imagine that she wears like clipping extensions uh, regularly. So I imagine that this is probably her natural hair. And then she also like swaps to um, longer hair with uh, clippings. So that is more of her natural hair. The other hairs are more of like, a, you know, her clipping extensions. So let me get her changed back into her original. She can step on me any day, Sarah. <laughs> Um, and then I'm just gonna get Emiliano out of the shower. Okay, he's out of the shower, great. Um, so Emiliano got a little makeover as well. I gave him some, you know, other outfits. Emiliano, you know, he was also looking a bit too young for his age. And I'm not gonna lie, he is 60 years old. So I needed him to look it. And honestly, I feel like he really does look his age. And I don't mean that in a bad way. I mean, in The Sims, I always really struggle to have my Sims look like themselves, but also look like, like elderly you know like it's really difficult to have sims that you've had from like such a young age look elderly i feel like he actually does look like himself but elderly like i'm very happy with the fact that he actually looks you know he actually look yeah oh he's so fine I i'm not saying he's not fine you know but i just wanted him to look a little bit a little bit older so i gave him some other outfits i gave him similar style to what he had before but you know, more uh, more comfy. He's at home quite a lot. Um, we're also getting him into being a landlord, and obviously with a little bit of age, you know, a majority of people they do lose a substantial amount of their sight. So little Emiliano, he has some um, he has some glasses that he's gonna have to start wearing. So yeah, he's gonna be wearing those in some of his outfits, but he still looks just as good. Look at him. Yes, Enzo is old too now. Uh, well, actually, I think Enzo. I'm pretty sure he is an elder. Um, I gave Enzo a makeover if you guys want to see him. He is actually coming over today uh, because it's Thanksgiving. So I was thinking that we would invite him and his wife round. So guys, here is uh, Enzo. Here is what he is looking like. He, oh no, sorry. Enzo is still an adult. So he is probably in his 50s right now. So I gave him, obviously he's always had brown hair, but I gave him gray in his hair as well. Um, and yes, he is married again to uh, a lady called Katie, who I also gave a makeover to. But by the way, we don't even know his new wife. He literally married this woman up and didn't even introduce her to any of his family. So I don't even know who his wife is. Um, so she's coming round for Thanksgiving tonight. But yeah, we've never met her. So <laughs> he's coming. <laughs> Hopefully he doesn't cheat on her. Well, I actually did check um, Enzo's, uh, what do you call it, his family tree. And turns out Enzo actually has two kids. I completely forgot about the second kid that he had. Do you guys remember? He not only had a baby with his um, ex-wife, who was Kaori, who we know. I forgot that he also had a kid with um, with Tomi, who is Neve's uh, best friend's daughter. Do you remember that whole thing when he ended up getting that like 18, 19 year old pregnant? Something wrong there. Anyways, I forgot that he had another kid, but um, I'm pretty sure that um, he has high, half custody of both of the kids. So he, you know, he shares like custody with them. Um, so they stay around his a little bit. I also gave him a new house and everything. So yeah, they're all sorted, done. Um, and everyone's pretty much had a makeover. 
And I also gave some of Ginger's friends a makeover as well. Um, obviously, we met all of the kids at the Halloween party in the last episode, but I also gave a makeover to Dominique right here, which is actually one of um, Neve, sorry, uh, Ginger's friends from when she was at school. So I gave her a little makeover. She's really cute. And I also gave Cassie, who is also one of her old friends from school, um, her a little makeover as well. And we've got Cassie and she looks like that. So yeah, that is pretty much it. That's everything that's happened between this episode and last. Oh, last thing that I did was actually update uh, Graham's room because Graham still had the same room from when he was a kid and it was like Harry Potter themed, which just didn't really make sense. So I gave his room a makeover that's more teenage fitting. So he still loves his gaming. He still loves, you know, like he's still like very much into all of that. Um, he's also gonna be entering into the computer team um, as an after school activity. So he's very much into like gaming and, you know, esports and stuff. But I also made sure that he has his school schedule here so that he keeps on track of it. And we also have his bed um, here. He has his alarm clock because I can imagine he stays up till really late playing. So yeah, he, um, I also decorated his bed, gave him some shoes. And I even gave him a TV up here with a console and a controller so he can actually play while sitting in bed. So I kind of imagine that he could, you know, play on his console in bed or he can go and um, sit, you know, on the uh, computer and play here as well. So he gets to like, just basically sit wherever he wants. But yeah, that's his room. Um, it's kind of small for now. Right now, um, Reese and Charlotte, they still live with us, but they're actually gonna be moving out in today's episode. Um, so officially, Charlotte is gonna be moving out. She is gonna be moving to the city, I imagine. I don't know if she's gonna move to Del Sol Valley or if she's gonna move to um, San Maestruno. I kind of wanted to ask you guys which one you think she would, uh, you know, suit more. And uh, Reese, he's actually in the middle of applying to, sorry, I'm like, why is it I always catch them on the toilet? Um, Reese is in the middle of applying to university. So we should get his results back to, um, in today's episode. We should find out whether he managed to get into uh, university or what university he gets into and also what degree he can take. I think right now he said he wants to take a fine arts degree and that's one of his wants. So yeah, that's what we're gonna do. Um. Do you want a poll now or when you're going to move her out? I think we'll do a poll like towards the end of the episode because I think I won't actually move her out on on the episode, you know, like on stream. I'll like ask you guys where I'm going to move her out. And then like before the next episode, I'll have her already moved out and like prepped in her new house. Because if you guys don't know, I'm so sorry that I'm like completely waffling, but I just want to like give an update on everything. Um, What's going to be happening as of generation two is we're not gonna be just playing with Ginger for generation two because obviously to me, generation two also encompasses her siblings and her family members and her friends and stuff like that. So we're gonna be playing as Ginger for the majority of season two, but we're also gonna be going and spending days with Reese um, at university. We'll also be spending time with Charlotte when she's moved out. We'll also be doing the same thing with Graham and we'll also come back and spend days uh, with Neven and Emiliano before obviously they pass away. I don't wanna be like morbid or anything, but um, yeah, we'll spend time with them going to the bakery and everything like that. So it's gonna be like a rotational gameplay. We're mostly gonna play with Ginger. Of course she is the gen two L but we will still play with the other family members because they were all important and I kind of want to progress all of their stories. And yes, Graham is not going to be neglected. I still have ideas for him. I'm excited for him as well. Um, but Graham is going to get a room extension when Reese moves out. So when Reese takes all of his stuff to uni with him, um, I'm going to expand his room. I don't know if I'm going to, like, I think I might leave this as a spare bedroom for when everyone comes over. And then I'll move, um, yeah, Graham into this bedroom, I'm pretty sure. So he gets more room. Because right now, he's shoved in the little, like, back room. Because there's not enough room anywhere else. <laughs> Are we going to have any characters at LGBT? We've actually already got characters at LGBT. Um, technically, Neve has always been a pansexual. So she's always been pan. Uh, Emiliano is straight, Reese is also straight, Charlotte is straight, Graham is a uh, bisexual, and uh, Ginger is straight, but she is also an ally because obviously her twin brother is bisexual. She really supports that, and she, you know, has always felt very strongly about protecting him. So yeah, um, the family is kind of kind of a little saucy, you know. I let um my LGBTQ mod randomize like each of my Sims sexualities, so I don't like to set them. I just let the game sort of, you know, generate them and I play with them what they are. Oh, did someone send me a hydrate? Oh, thank you, thank you. Um <laughs> 
Ginger would definitely drag Graham to his first Pride event. Yes, definitely. 1000%. Hi, Nessa. Welcome in. How are you doing, my love? How are you doing? Okay, so it is Thanksgiving today. Um, it's also a Friday in game, so I do want to do a family dinner. So first things first, guys, since it is the final uh, episode of the Generation 1 of the Joy of Life Challenge, I think before we jump in, we should also go and do a quick little recap on the challenge just to see where we are and what is left to do um, according to the storyline. So let's go in here really quick. Let me just turn on this one. Right, so this is the checklist for generation one of the joy of life challenge and as you can see right here we only have one one uh, goal that has yet to be ticked off which is actually neve's baking skill and other than that we are completely finished with generation one we are very much done um so the last thing that we need to do is max the baking skill for neve and neve is already um at um Sorry, I heard noise in the background. Um, Neve is actually already at level nine, so she's gonna be doing it today. So yeah, it's gonna be it's gonna be fun. So we are gonna be going and and doing a bit of baking. <laughs> Time to open the bakery and bake. Then I'm not gonna open the bakery today, only because it's Thanksgiving. I feel like it would be closed today. But I was thinking tomorrow on Sunday we could go to the bakery, and I was thinking little Ginger could come along. Um, last time she came to the bakery, she was a kid. So I think it's good for her to come a little bit older and come and help. So today we're just gonna be focusing on spending some time with the family. What I am gonna do is prep the family dinner because we're gonna be having the entire family come around. And I'm just trying to think, one, two, three, four, five. Three, four, five. And then it's, yeah, oh no, six, six. And then Emiliano and his wife. Okay, so we've got the perfect amount of chairs for everyone to sit at the dining room table, so. I'm gonna go and just schedule the event today. We're doing a, um, it's gonna be a dinner party. I'm pretty sure it will just come under us. Yeah, that'll be it. You should let Ginger cook the Thanksgiving meal. So what I was thinking is Ginger could cook the Thanksgiving meal and Neve could cook like the desserts, you know, like obviously Ginger's very good at cooking meals, you know, like an actual, yeah, you know, like food and uh, Neve is better at baking. So I feel like, you know, um, Ginger uh, could focus on the main meal. I feel, I feel like that would be good for her as well. Uh, so the hosts are going to be Emiliano and Neve. And then the guests, we're going to be inviting family. Uh, obviously Charlotte, Emiliano, Ginger, Graham and Reese, And then I also want to invite um, Enzo and his wife. Um, so I need to go to A, B, C, D, um, E. Right, so Enzo should be in here. Let's see if we can find him. Emiliano O'Connell, that's not the right one. <laughs> Enzo DeLuca, and then his wife's name is Katie. Yeah. Katie DeLuca, this one right here. Okay, so this is the family that I want to invite. Um, and obviously Neve is the caterer, so we don't need to do that. <laughs> I forgot Neve had a sister, oh my God. Yes, to be honest, she doesn't really get a chance to see her because her sister lives abroad. So yeah, it's kind of difficult to, um, yeah, to see her sister. Um, I'm just making sure I didn't forget anyone. Six of them. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. Yep, that's it. Right, and we're throwing it at our house. So I think we'll schedule the dinner for like four o'clock in the evening. That gives everybody a chance to like turn up, socialize with each other, and then sort the dinner out and get it all prepped and ready to be served by like 6 p.m. So we'll do four, I'd say. Is it not too hard for you to play two legacies at the same time? I'm scared that I would start a second legacy. I would love it so much that I would stop playing with the other one. Honestly, playing two separate legacies that are like in completely different, um, you know, like states of their life, you know, like I feel like that's easier. It's, it's good to play one legacy and then have it be really exciting and then start another legacy that's just as exciting. So you want to go back and play both because they're just as fun, you know, like... Because with my uh, whimsy stories, it's in a completely different place in terms of like gameplay than this family. So it's like both give me different things. So I'm like, oh, I fancy like family gameplay. Let me play this. Or I fancy this sort of gameplay, you know, like each one sort of fulfills you in a different way. <laughs> All right. So um, I'm going to have Neve start doing some baking. 
So let's do baking. Um, I'm trying to think. So it is actually Thanksgiving, but they're also in Italy. I'm trying to think of what would be like a good Italian dessert to serve up. Um, should I have a look at Italian desserts? I might be able to find one. Italian desserts. Um, a tiramisu. Okay, so, te oh, tiramisu. I didn't know that was Italian. I actually didn't know that was Italian. Okay, I must have a tiramisu somewhere. I wonder if I can type it. No, probably not. Okay, it's got to be in baking somewhere. I completely, for I completely, well, I completely forgot. I didn't even realize, to be honest. Um, I'm gonna go with other bake, but it might be in cakes and cheesecake, maybe, or pies and tarts. Maybe, I'll try other bake and see if a tiramisu is in here. Um, tiramisu, I, please tell me I've got one installed because I am actually about to cry if I don't. <laughs> I must have a tiramisu, surely. <laughs> Uh, pies and tarts, maybe? Hi, Guiltless. Um, I'm so happy to see you live. I'm in Australia, so I never get to see you because it's usually 2 a.m. here. Oh, I'm so sorry. I'm glad you got to see me today, though. It should be like, um, is it like 8 o'clock or so where you are now? I think you're normally like, um, you're normally 12 hours difference, I believe. Oh, God, guys. I can't find the... Oh, it's a gourmet cooking recipe. Is it really? <laughs> um, oh no. I don't know if she has the gourmet cooking skill. Um, various cuisines, cuisines of the world. Maybe there'll be a tiramisu in here. Maybe. No, no, no. There is actually tiramisu in game. Oh no. I don't think I can ever make it. I'll make gourmet, make custom gourmet food. Please tell me there's a tiramisu in here. Damn it. Uh, okay, not in there. I don't know how to get to like, just the standard stuff that's in game. Um, dinner? No, homemade. How do you make like non gourmet or non custom gourmet meals? Does anyone know? I don't even know how to do this. Oh no. How do you do that? Maybe I just look in here. Maybe this, maybe this one has it. Nope. No, 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 no. Did I just see what I thought I saw? Yes, Wicked Whims comes with that. You know, sometimes the Sims needs to get a little, need to get a little frisky. <laughs> Uh, Brazen Lotus has one. I do have Brazen Lotus installed again. Okay, hold on. Let me, let me, uh, get the Brazen Lotus one out. Oh, maybe I have to click on the stove. Yeah, maybe. Hold on. Let me, let me get out my Brazen Lotus one. Because I definitely have all the Brazen Lotuses things installed. I feel like it would make most sense to have them make, like, a specific Italian styled food. Considering that the family is coming over to Italy. It makes sense. Uh... Oh yeah, the Brazen Homestead Cookbook. That's the one that I need. I had it installed, but then I in uninstalled the mod when it was uh, out of date for a while. Yeah, we need this one. Let's put it in the corner, just back there. Mm. Does it count as a, des as a dessert, right? Mm. Okay, please tell me it's in here. Please? Triple mousse chocolate cake? That doesn't say anything about it being Italian. Does anyone know where the tiramisu is located for Brazen Lotus? I passed it, did I? Did I actually? <laughs> where? I'm confused. Cannoli is also Italian? Where's that one? You missed it. Am I, do I just keep going past it? I'm looking. Oh, it's there. I was expecting it to be circular. Okay. <laughs> right. Okay, let's go and make the tiramisu. I'll make a party size serving of it. Okay, thanks guys. <laughs> that took way too long to find that. I, I was committed, okay? Oh no, did it count? Oh no, not, off, not after all of that. I wonder if it's not close enough. 
I'll just put it here for now. Um, right, it was in here, and then desserts, and then it was a little square thing. There, party size. I don't know if this, is this mod working? Oh yeah, it is, okay, it's fine, we're good. We're good, we're good. What does she want to do? Ask Emiliano about his day. Oh, why is she so cute? Oh, I literally love them. Look at them all sitting there chatting with each other. So cute, love them. All right, so Neve's gonna start on the tiramisu and then uh, Ginger is gonna come in and start with the um, grand meal. I'm hoping this comes out okay. She does have a good cooking skill. We will do, ooh, let's do turkey with fruit. Yeah, let's do the turkey. Hi, Sierra, welcome in. How are you doing? I hope you're good. Okay, uh, come up this conversation. Also, you should probably get dressed uh, while you do this. I kind of want to give Ginger an outfit where she also wears an apron. So at some point I need to do that. But just for now, I'll have her wear... Um, I'll just have her wear something that's comfy. We'll wear this one. That'll do. I don't want our baby to die. I know. Me too. She's still got a while, I think. I mean, I'm not going to check. If I open MC Command Center up, it'll tell me how long she's got. And I don't need to see that. Okay, that's too much. Oh, okay, tiramisu is done. Beautiful, it looks lovely. Can we decorate it or anything? Um, No, that's it. Okay, right, so I'll put it in the fridge just to store for now. Let's hope the kitchen doesn't burn down. What skill does she have in cooking? Um, Let me just search by level. Level seven cooking? Okay, honestly, Ginger's not even gonna struggle. I'm not even gonna lie. Like, honestly, she is going to be fine. <laughs> oh, make some drinks too. Yes, good point, actually. I'll come to the fridge. I should just be able to grab some drinks out. Let's do custom drinks, prepare drinks. Um, ooh, no. I was thinking, like, we'd just get out, like, a, you know, like, a board to serve the drinks. Custom drink. Um, I wasn't really thinking these. I think I have a... What is it? I could get a bottle and everyone can drink from the bottle as well. But I also have a tray to serve all the drinks on. I think. Lux tray, sugarcane tray. Let me just type in tray. Where will you put our baby's grave? I've actually got a... Um, I've actually got like a full cemetery already prepped for them. Which is really sad and like actually really morbid. But <laughs> it's already ready. <laughs> She's going to be going where her family are. Um, oh, champagne. Lovely. Um, let's do... Yeah, you know, I kind of like the idea of the champagne tray. That that sounds pretty good. Um, let's do... Yeah, let's do the champagne tray. Here we go. We'll just pop it there. And then... I'll also grab a bottle out of the fridge as well. Just to ha make sure that we have that. She's so good for her age. Honestly, she is she is amazing. What's that? Where did you get that from? Where did, where was that from? Where's the food? Oh my god, she's you remember that thing that we were just talking about about her setting the house on fire? Yeah, about that. <laughs> Babes, go back to the oven. I'm hoping that she's just got like a timer on it. She already knows the time. She doesn't even need to sit there and watch it. That's why. She's so confident in her in her skill. She doesn't even need to sit and watch it. That's definitely what it is. Oh, level eight of the cooking skill. Clearly I have no right to speak. Okay. Hi, Rosies. Welcome in. How you doing, my love? Um, okay, so where can I... Oh, buy. Um, buy, drink a bottle. Alcohol. Buy, drink a bottle. Oh, okay, so these are like beers and things. No, I was thinking we'd actually buy another drink. Buy alcohol. Let's do... Ooh. Um, let's do... Oh, classic dry red wine of Italy. Yeah, let's do champagne and we'll also do this uh, red wine as well. Uh, the whole kitchen is a vibe. My dream kitchen. Oh, even though that's on the floor, are you sure? <laughs> are you going to come grab it? Come and grab Come and grab the, the drink. Come, come. Sheila, thank you for the hydrate. Welcome in. Oh my God, level nine of the cooking skill? 
Okay, she is just amazing. I'm so sorry. What the hell? Hold on. What does this look like? Oh my god, excellent quality. Look at her cooking this turkey. I'm so sorry, guys. Look at that. Is that or is that not amazing? Like, look at it. Oh, what the? Sorry. She is literally like a blessing to us. Okay, I will... Um... I'm gonna put that in the fridge as well. We're gonna make one more. I think it's good to have two options. So we'll do like a turkey, but we'll also do um, the ham dinner, I'd say. Hold on, let me do it from the fridge. She's like, yeah, she's definitely, she's probably gonna max it today, to be honest. Um, So we did the turkey. Why don't we do the baked ham with cranberries next? Hi, Shyla. Welcome in. I finally made it to my first live stream. Oh, what a good stream to make it to today as well. Hi, Larissa. It's been a while since I caught your stream. Is Ginger the next gen? She is. She's going to be the one that we're playing with as of, uh, as of now. Okay, so in terms of um, Neve's baking skill, she is level 9, 37% 37% complete. So I'm going to have her go and bake some other things. Um, let's do... So the issue is I need to know exactly what is... So this this mod that she should be using for these, a lot of them, they don't actually use the baking skill. They use the cooking skill instead. So it's difficult to have her cook them. I don't know if the other cookbooks, if they specifically work on the other skills. I don't know. Let me have her do this. Desserts. Um, let's try and make other sweets. Let's do... I swear someone said cannoli. Oh, there's another tiramisu. Ooh. That one's kind of cool too. Baked chocolate mousse. Ooh. I might make another one. Yeah, the issue is uh, to be able to use the in-game recipes, I don't actually know how to get to them. Um... <laughs> Because all my mods are like cluttering up this area that it's it would be somewhere in like non-custom food. Maybe serve dessert. Ooh, maybe these count? But this says cooking level 10. That makes me think that like that still doesn't count either. Oh, I really don't know. Ooh, what's this? A French dessert? Uh souffles. Maybe we make some souffles. I think the only food mod has a bake section. Do you know if it actually works on the baking skill? Because the issue that I'm having is that none of these actually improve their baking skill because they all go based on the cooking skill. Is this improving her baking skill? No, it isn't. Maybe the Oni's one will. Bake. Let's see if that one does it. Oh my God, she literally took... Oh, this one does. You're right. Okay, so you need, using the Oni's cookbook, that one's better. Um, red velvet mini cake. Let's make, um, hmm, what should we do? Let's do cannoli custard, cannoli lactose free, cannoli, tiramisu tar. Oh my God. I could literally make the, like every option of tiramisu. Um, I will do, um, I'll do this cannoli custard thing. I think that is definitely working on her. Um, that definitely works on the baking skill, so that's good. Right, we have another tiramisu. She, you know, she made it, so she also gets the first bite. She's just taste testing, that's all. How is it? <laughs> what do you rate it? Is that one better than the other one? Mm, I don't know if she rates it. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> oh no, the house is dirty as well. Oh, we are going to need to start cleaning up. Ginger, how's the uh, how's the ham coming along? Is it nearly done? Hopefully. The ham looks pretty good too. Oh, you're right. She didn't get the wine. I'm going to have to get her to get the wine. Oh, Yasmin's calling. <gasps> Hi, Ginger. I'm having a sleepover at my house tonight. Do you want to come? Should I have Ginger go for a sleepover at Yasmin's house? It, oh, it's Thanksgiving though. I feel like she should spend it with the family. I don't know if she's going to get away with it. On a holiday? No, no, no. Just like a, just a sleepover. Like, she'll come back. Oh, you mean like on a holiday? Like, whether she... Oh, okay. I see what you mean. <laughs> that makes sense. Maybe later. Maybe next time. We can say maybe next time, yeah. That's all right. I'll catch you later. We could invite her over, like, on the weekend. You know, like, even tomorrow or something. She could come over for a sleepover. 
We could do that. Um, wow, Graham's doing his homework on a Friday night. Who, oh sorry, on a Friday afternoon, who would have actually thought crazy that? Absolutely crazy. In the meantime, Emiliano, I need you to come and make yourself useful because Neve is cooking. You need to come and clean, okay? Um, so you come and do all the rest of it. <laughs> and Neve, how is that coming along? <gasps> how is your baking skill? Let me see. Oh, it is going up, I think. Yeah, it is. Finally, Emiliano does something around the house. Yeah, and I, he hates it. He hates it. Oh. Emiliano, your reputation is everything in the business world. It's not who you are. It's who you know. And you know the right people. We'd like to make you a regional manager and we'd like you to start immediately. Emiliano is getting a job offer for, I think it's a business career. Should we take it? I know he's old, you know, like, I know, like, realistically, I don't know if he should, but I feel like he needs to get out, you know, like, even at his age, I feel like he spent his entire life not, not doing it. Yeah, maybe it's from someone from his uh, parents' company. It could be. I say yes. I think we should get him a job. I agree. Yeah. Okay. Let's say yes. Oh, I mean, level five is pretty good as well. <gasps> Being let go from a job with this determination. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's fine. It's because um, he quit the freelance career. He entered the business career. Oh my God. I can't believe he's a regional manager. Good for him. Level five. Is he happy about it? No more loyalty. Sometimes it's the best to leave a career behind, but for Miliano, there's a lingering feeling that there is always for the worst. Why is he so negative, like, all the time? Honestly, I love Emiliano, I do, but everything he says is like, oh, what if something was to happen? He never did one freelance job. Not one job did he ever do, like, this man. Go and resume the food. Oh, you need the, you need the thing. Oh, Ginger just hit level 10 of cooking as a teenager. Sorry, what? Oh, she already hit level 10. She's literally maxed out the cooking skill. Well, we've still got the gourmet cooking skill to go. So, hey, we've still got a little while. Um, guys, give me one second. I need to let the dogs out of my room um, and tell my dad to feed them because he's forgotten. So, give me one quick sec. <laughs> Hello, I'm back. Okay, right. Let's finish this. Okay, can we, I, lo I love it. Honestly, yes, let's talk about Thanksgiving. That is great. That is lovely. But can we please get this ham cooked? Because nobody else can get to the oven. Honestly, we need like four ovens in this house. Right, Emiliano, other than cleaning that up, I need you to come and clean up everything down here. And I also need you to start hoovering as well because it's dirty downstairs. So make sure you get that doing as well. Good job. <laughs> Reese, please. Honestly, Reese never wears his clothes. But actually, is is anyone complaining? Because I don't think I see a soul complaining in chat. Is anyone complaining? I don't think so. I don't think so. <laughs> oh, Graham is now working at a B because he does because he does his homework. Oh, and Ginger too. Good job, kids. They're working at a B. Oh, that's so good. I'm proud of them. <laughs> I don't mind at all. <laughs> What is, okay, sorry, Ginger. What is taking so long? You've literally been at this oven for hours. Please, can we just resume it? Like, can we go back to cooking it? What's happening? Where's the, where's the ham? Oh, she just needed to season it, that's all. Yeah, I think so too. Oh, look at that ham. What quality is it? Excellent quality. Oh my God, honestly, guys. Ginger is so good at cooking. I'm not even gonna lie. Look at, look at that food. At the ripe age of like six, 15. Yeah, about 15 years old, 15, 16. She's making that. Sorry, that's too much. That is too much. She's putting everybody else to shame. <laughs> like, she can't be doing this. <laughs> All right, let's go back to cooking. 
Is she nearly finished maxing the baking skill? It's not even gone up. She, it's still at 38%. Guys, is her baking skill uh, bugged? Because it doesn't move. <laughs> like, for sure. It should have moved. Oh, 41%. She's going to have to make so much to be able to max this. We're going to have to do so much baking. All right, let's 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 do some more. You guys said that the only cookbook is the good one for baking. So we'll just bake everything in here. Um, next up, we will bake. Let's do a cake next, I think. Um, we will do... Hmm. Mango cake, maybe? That sounds pretty good. It went up like 4%. I love when the modded food is high quality in the game. <laughs> All right, let's put that away so it doesn't go off as well. She would definitely be level 10 for sure, but I really don't want to cheat it. Uh, you know, like I really do want it to be um, natural. So I'm just letting it, I'm letting it do its thing. She should be done soon. I would have cheated by now. I probably should have, but it's okay. She'll be okay. She'll be done soon. I might need to get her to start, uh, yeah, um, uh, what do you call it? The reading the baking books? Yeah, maybe. All right, is everyone gonna get changed? What are we wearing, formal wear? Okay, nice choice. What do we got from Charlotte? Donate. Oh, Charlotte chose the Boss B outfit. Okay. <laughs> Graham said, oh, can I wear my Halloween outfit? <laughs> no, Graham, you can't. You're a day late, okay? <laughs> you can't wear that, get changed. Grove Slay. <laughs> ah, yeah, she looks so cute. Uh, Emiliano, are you getting changed too? You need to. What have you got? What choice? Okay, cute, usual. And Neve has gone for her pretty blue dress. Oh. Is she nearly? Is she nearly close? What level? How where is she? Forty-four percent. It went up three percent. Guys, I can't do this. I can't do this. How am I supposed to max her baking skill when it goes up that percent per food? That is crazy. <laughs> That's going to take so long. I don't want to cheat it, but I can't get to the in-game baking foods. Like I, these are all custom foods. I just wish I could access just the normal menu. <laughs> oh wait, maybe I think if I shift click, it works. No, no, never mind. <laughs> Anyways, um, just right click real, I can't. Maybe alt clicking. Oh God, don't alt click, it didn't work. I can't, I can't do it, I can't. I'm gonna have her naturally max it. And unless it takes like all episode and then I might cheat. <laughs> all right, really quick. We're gonna get everybody set up for the food. Go pee like a champion. Um, Enzo should be here anytime soon. Oh, this plant is disgusting. Uh, Emiliano, can you go dispose of this? Did you hoover? Yeah, he did, good. Uh, Neve is getting a call from Lucia. Um, it's time for the fall festival this weekend. Do you want to go with me tomorrow afternoon? Uh, oh, I would, honestly, I would love for her to go out, but she really needs to open up the bakery tomorrow. So I'm going to have to say no, I'm sorry. You okay? Well, okay. Uh, you sure? Well, okay then, but don't be a stranger. Oh, did you try it on the stove? No, I didn't. Should I, should I try it on the stove? Maybe I should. Um, you need to get changed back into your party wear outfit as well because uh, you can't be wearing that. Um, okay, let's try on the stove. Let's try... No. No. They're all custom foods. You would think that if I go in here and I bake custom food in here, it would work. I mean, I thought it would work. But that still says cooking level 10. Which means that these definitely use the cooking skill, not the baking skill. Oh, what about um, if we use the... Uh, oh, that's not going to work. <laughs> I was thinking, what if we get the cupcake machine out? But I can't. I can't. No, 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 no. Um, thank you guys all for the follows recently. Sorry, I completely missed all those follows earlier. But thank you so much, Aria, with the follow as well. Welcome in. Um, I'm going to have Neve come and buy that. That. Oh my God, she's getting a call from everyone. Who are these people? I don't even know who you are. Like, seriously. Um, right, come in here. We need to buy that. Um, the red wine. Yeah, but... <laughs> 
Why can't she buy it? Is it because someone's... Who's this? Oh, this is Katie. Oh, Katie's here. Oh, and where's Enzo? Is he not here yet? Or has he gone upstairs? Where is Enzo? Oh, he's gone upstairs. He's sitting in here talking. Is he telling Graham off? He's being yelled at. Why is he yelling at him? Is he saying you shouldn't be up here on your computer? You should be downstairs with your family? Like... <laughs> What's going on here? He literally just got in here and he's already having a go at him. No, I'm sorry, Enzo. <laughs> he's got some nerve. What is this? Oh, Neve's coming up. She hears some commotion going on. Oh, and then she's going to argue about music. Did he have music on really loud or something? What's going on in here? Why is everyone picking on Paul Graham? What's going on here? The poor kid it was just trying to listen to his music and do his homework, guys. Like, come on. Please. <laughs> Leave him alone. Why is everyone being so mean to him? <laughs> what is this? Okay, hold on. I'm going to get Emiliano changed back in. Oh, sorry, Enzo back changed back into his party well. Um, I want to get some music in the dining room. Graham is going to lock his room after that. <laughs> He's not even going to come down for food now. <laughs> We're never going to get to see him. Uh, let's do... Uh, let's do yeah let's do this one up here there we go that'll do why do we keep inviting enzo to things because i'm hoping that one day i'll invite him and he'll have changed i was really hoping that with his age now like it's been a long time you know like i was hoping that he wouldn't just be as much of a of a you know <laughs> clearly he is anyways this is his wife so this is katie who we He's married to, and we've never met her before, by the way. So I'm going to have Emiliano give her a nice respectful introduction. Hi, Katie. It's nice to meet you. Do they get on? Oh, they do. They like each other. He thinks she's an interesting sim. And Casey thinks that he is responsible. Okay, that's good. That's a nice first impression. Can we have Neve um, introduce herself to him? As, to her, sorry, to her as well. Manners apparently don't come with age. Well, oh, look at them. Why are they cuddling? Oh, I literally love them. Sorry. Hi, Casey. Oh, oh my God. Emilio is being awful again. <laughs> He's making a joke. Oh, okay. They get on, I, th I think. I think they get on. Oh, they have amazing compatibility. I actually think they're really going to get on. Neve likes her, but Casey doesn't really like Neve. She kind of gets the impression that she's a bit dramatic. Um, so she seems to like Emiliano more than she likes Neve, but that's fine. Let's, um, oh, Neve doesn't have the Wi-Fi password. Oh no, she's fine. She's fine to use this. Um, let's put on some jazz, maybe. Some nice fancy music. <laughs> Enzo, oh, that's what I was thinking. Who is she getting the attractiveness for? Baby, you've already got the brother. You don't need Emiliano to. What is she doing? Yeah, I bet that's why she doesn't like Neve. And no, I can't. I can't. What is this? Why do I invite this woman round? And now she's got a thing for Emiliano. Oh, she's messy like Enzo. This is what you get, Enzo, for going with these younger women. Yeah, who are clearly not interested. They're more interested in your brother. What is this? Oh my goodness. No, Enzo, don't eat that. Like, please. Oh my God. That's not even what we're having for dinner. Right, I'm just gonna go get the food served up, okay? Because everyone's just everyone's just ruining Thanksgiving day. Um, right, we have the wine. Apparently, I, we did actually buy the wine. It just didn't actually get served up. That's fine. Um, so we'll serve up the food first. We have the turkey with the fruit that we'll put down this end and we'll put the, uh, the ham with the berries uh down this end and then we will have uh i will turn this music off and we will listen to the in-game music and then we will call everyone to the grand meal let's do it <laughs> all this family's tears piping out i don't even plan for this like it just happens i don't understand none of my other families are like this they're all so chilled and then this family is just crazy wild Ginger, what are you going to go for? Oh, Ginger's going to go for the turkey. She says, I know what's good. The turkey's the best. Come and get sat down then. Come sit. 
Hi, Kana. I've just made some barbecue chicken. Oh, lovely. I'm jealous. I'm just going to force everyone to sit down a second, by the way. Um, let me just let me just do that, and that should force everyone to sit. There we go. Can everyone come sit now? Can you come sit? Guys. Is everyone going to sit? Ginger, it's your turn. You're going to sit? Why can't we sit in these chairs? Oh no, and now Emiliano is getting nervous because it's so crowded. That's so funny. Oh my god. Emiliano, why didn't you get some drinks served up? I, th I think we really need some drinks in here, please. <laughs> please. Get some drinks down here. Please. Everyone, come and grab some drinks. <laughs> Calling your other families chill when Charlie's dad is actually your uncle and our aunt is actually a mum. Uh, okay, that's true. <laughs> I forgot about that one. Why is no one sitting? Like, okay, Katie, I need to control you a second, babes. Can you please sit down? Okay, they are sitting down. They're just taking a really long time to do it. There you go. You sit down. Beautiful. Okay, and what is what is Graham doing? Graham, sit. What's going on? Guys, it's not musical chairs. Just sit and talk as a family. Please don't do this to me. Right, in the meantime, um, who should I have clean up? Well, Graham... Graham's actually doing pretty well in this social situation, although he struggles in crowded places too. Just like his dad, apparently. Um, so I'll have him clean up the plates, I guess. I can't believe Casey went right for Emiliano when Reese is right there. Oh, look at him dancing. Oh, he's so cute. Oh my God. Okay, I'll clean up. Whatever. Fine. Leave it to me. No problem. I'll clean up. Yeah, I don't know what it is. Why Sims are like really struggling to sit down and eat recently. I don't know what it is. Oh, Neve is still, still getting through. Um, I'll have the kids come and grab some to drink as well. Let them grab some. I think Emiliano dislikes the music. He's having a bad time. Oh, he hates the music. What is that horrible sound? He can't stand jazz. Well, what music does he like? He's so picky. Like... Classical, romance, or retro? Okay, classical it is then. That's fine. I don't care. Play classical instead. Um, stop the music. Play. Did you stop the music? Yeah. Okay. And then let's play. He's such a baby, isn't he? Play classical. There you go. Uh, Graham's starting a sing song. Beautiful. And then I'm going to go put the food away. There we go. Oh, no, it got everybody back up. Well, anyways, Neve, um, you just finish your drink and your food, please. He grew up rich. Of course he's a baby. Well, our rich boy has a job now, by the way. <laughs> oh, you know, Charlotte hasn't introduced herself to Katie. I kind of see them getting on, you know? I actually do really see them having a good relationship with each other. So I'll have her give her a friendly introduction. Oh, would you describe the family dynamic between Enzo and Reese as jokesters? Yeah, I do kind of see Enzo and Reese getting on, to be honest. <laughs> Probably because they're the same age. They're not exactly the same age, though. Oh, she doesn't like that music. That's the classical music. That Okay, I'm sorry. Everyone else. <laughs> That's so funny. Everyone else is complaining about the music being bad, right? Like, everybody else hates it. <laughs> Emiliano is the only one who actually likes this music. That's my jam. Excellent taste in music. <laughs> like, no one else likes the music. What, what is he getting a romance about? He better not be. He better not. Hold on, guys. Um, my dog wants to come in. Hold on. Did you finish it, Tindin? Yeah. How did she just move over here just to flirt with him? <laughs> Enzo's wife's got another crush. <laughs> okay, go sit down. Is she talking to is she talking to Casey? Did she introduce herself to her yet? Oh, how did it go? Huh? Huh? Is Charlotte Is Charlotte by? Is Charlotte by? 
she's not. She's only romantically attracted to men. And I think she's only sexually attracted to men. So is it like a girl crush? <laughs> is it like, oh my God, she's so prissy type of crush and not really like, oh my God, I want to, you know, get with her. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what. <laughs> I don't know about this. <laughs> Maybe she's questioning. She might need to do some soul searching. She learned that, well, she's married, so she's not even available to get with, so... Charlotte's stealing her uncle's new <laughs> girlfriend. <laughs> her and her uncle really get on though. Charlotte, oh my god, and this is broken. I'm just gonna replace it at this point. Uh, Joyful Brie, thank you for the follow. Welcome in. Oh, I need to serve up. Um, I need to serve up dessert. I just realised no one is eating the desserts that I prepared. Right. So first dessert that I made was the tiramisu. Tiramisu number one. And then I also made tiramisu number two. So I'll just serve them both. And I also made the cannolis. And I'll serve those up as well. Um, and then Neve, I need you to come and clean this stuff up. <laughs> of course they get on. They have the same taste in women. <laughs> you might need her to reevaluate her sexuality. Maybe. Maybe if she's got she's got a crush on her. See, I don't know if it's like a platonic crush, like she's her goal crush, or if it's like a real crush crush. Like I'm not sure. Oh, the mango cake. I forgot that one as well. Um, where is that? Open. Where is the mango cake? Oh, someone took a bite out of it. Great, thanks guys. Really appreciate that. There we go. Okay, food's all served. Everyone, come and um. Come and grab some food. There you go. Oh, oh, everyone's already grabbed food anyways. Just ignore me. I don't care. <laughs> just ignore me anyways. <laughs> Katie took the cake, I guess. Yeah, she was already on it. Charlotte is starting to feel like a glutton. She can't help it though. The junk foods and dessert are just so yummy. You know, I don't know if that suits charlotte because she's so into fitness but maybe because she's so into fitness and like she works out a lot she also gets really hungry that could that could make sense you know but i don't Something. see her like eating food out of the trash you know like like in game does like i just don't i don't see it i don't know <laughs> um nostalgic thank you so much for the two one for nine months as a whole baby together thank you so much say no because in the sims glutton isn't like what you imagine a glutton is actually like eating out of the trash like it's it's a lot so i'm gonna say no she's, she's very big on health and you know i feel like eating out of the bin is not healthy <laughs> katie apparently does not like this music by the way did they grab some food can we all go sitting back down please guys can we all just sit What was that? Why was that? Why everyone acted negatively? I'm not sure. Disappointing drink. A foodie only truly enjoys inspired drinks, and this is not one of them. This champagne apparently is not any good. Do you want to grab this drink? You can grab this red wine if you want. Charlotte loves the music just like her dad. Wait, does Charlotte really like the music too? Oh, she does. She loves this music. Look at her. Does Ginger like it? Ginger doesn't care. She doesn't care either way. She's easygoing. All right. That's food's finished. Nice. Has everyone had some cake? I think so. Doesn't look like it. Oh. Aww. I'm an extremely lucky woman to be married to someone like you, Emiliano. Putting a ring on that finger was the best decision I ever made. I was wondering if you... Oh, my dog's playing with a ball. Um, I was wondering if you and I could drop what we're doing and maybe change things to more married to activities. She's saying, do you want to go upstairs and like... Baby. After everyone leaves, okay? um soon soon i promise i'm a bit busy at the moment my love with with my family at thanksgiving okay <laughs> oh no oh no i think gray oh no graham scolded his mom i think it was like mom like are you kidding why are you talking to dad about like weird things over the table <laughs> and now he's laughing and playing it off yeah i get that i get that <laughs> oh she keeps flirting with him she keeps flirting with him. Oh no, stop me. <laughs> stop. Tay, thank you so much for the sub on YouTube. Welcome in. 
Oh no. Okay, is everyone grab some food? Is everyone full? Let me just check. Is everyone grab some dessert? I think everyone is full. Yep. Okay. Well, um, I guess I'll go put the rest of the stuff away, I guess. Go put away. Oh, Neve said I'm taking another slice. <laughs> Old age has made me thirst thirsty. <laughs> yeah, I, I guess so. <laughs> They're becoming the embodiment of Emiliano's parents. Do you remember them? Mm. Breaking it down in their bed upstairs. Do you remember last Thanksgiving? That was wild. I can't believe they did it whilst Emiliano was asleep, but by the way, that was crazy. Oh, I literally couldn't believe that. At least everyone's actually sitting and talking. Okay, Neve. <laughs> Neve keeps sashing cake in the kitchen. She doesn't want to eat it in front of people. <laughs> Honestly, Neve. She is such a mood. She really is. Like, <laughs> what's she eating now? A creamy chocolate cake with berries. This is from like a different day, but she literally came in here to come and eat it. I love her. Do you want to come and grab a drink as well? She's so funny. Remember Charlotte woohooed uh, Rylan in Reese's bedroom when he was asleep too? Did he? Did she really? What is wrong with these this family members? They have no privacy, huh? Can we also try and clean everything up as well? Uh, would you say that Ginger and Graham have a difficult family dynamic? Um, family dynamic with family members with the difficult family dynamic will be mean to each other more. I want to say no, but maybe they're going through a, a phase, you know, where they're being mean to each other. It could be, but I feel like in general, no, but maybe it's a phase. It could change. What do you guys think? Yay or nay? Do they have bad? No. Do they actually have bad compatibility? I didn't know that. I'm going to say yes for now. But we'll change it later as long as they start getting on again. I feel like it might just be because they're having a bit of a spat. It could even just be tonight, I feel like. Okay, some of you guys are saying yes. Some of you guys are saying no. <laughs> Maybe she's being too overprotective and he doesn't like it. It could be that, yeah. It could be. I'm going to say yes just for now. But I might change it. I might end up changing it, like, in probably in the next few days. Maybe it's just a little... Maybe it's a phase. To be honest, I'm pretty sure Ginger is actually on her period she's currently ovulating she's about to be on a period so maybe she's just feeling a little round you know like a little feisty <laughs> that could be it oh her and graham are arguing what are they arguing about maybe they're arguing about who's gonna clean up i guess ginger said i'll clean up <laughs> this music is uh it's quite serious hmm it's a phase then? Yeah, I think so. I don't think it would be like a, like a, you know, thing that would go on f after that. Um, oh, she looks pissed. She looks so angry. Is there anything else we want to do? Grand meal. We did that. We definitely, has nobody got the grand meal completion? Oh, sorry, Emiliano. I keep doing that too. I'm so sorry. Oh, for some reason, none, nobody got the grand meal, like, completion. Okay, hold on. I'm just going to, like, make sure that everybody completed their grand meal. I don't know why it didn't tick off. Maybe because it was a custom meal. Um, and then also people want to be thankful as well. Neve wants to be thankful. Um, I'll have her be thankful to Enzo for coming over because she's just kind. Um, can we do that? We can be thankful. There we go. It's fine. The Phantom of the Opera is about to show up. It's okay. I don't understand what this music is, but hey, Emiliano said he wanted it. Okay, so now we're sat here at family dinner listening to this. I'm sorry, Charlotte? Is it? Is she talking to Graham? I thought she was talking to Katie. Katie is not in a good mood, though. Is she? Does she not like the music? I wonder why she's got like a like a face like she smelt something stanky. Um, She is really bored and she also hates the music. And she's exposed to things, so she doesn't she doesn't like the music. But she's just really bored. I don't think she likes I don't think she likes his family that much either. 
She's married to Enzo. No wonder she's annoying. Can we can we start cleaning up though? Katie's mad that Amir that Emiliano's married. Yeah, it could be that actually. It could be married. It could be upset that he that she's married. That, um, yeah, that he's taken, and that she chose the other brother. <laughs> All right, let's get everything cleaned. Let's get everything in here. I'm also gonna go ahead and end the um, family dinner now because I feel like um, it's a good time for everyone to go home. It's like one o'clock, so everyone can leave. Katie is literally up. Didn't even say goodbye to anyone. Did you see that? Did you see that? Okay, guys. <laughs> she literally didn't even say goodbye to anyone. She's literally just got up. I don't know if she's pissed off at Enzo or something. She got up. She said she didn't say goodbye to anyone. Like, she just straight up left <laughs> in about two seconds. Um, She said, I'm out. <laughs> she, she said, I can leave. Bye. <laughs> she was so not interested in being here. Oh, my God. There's no way. Neve is eating another bit of food. Now she's eating almond macaroons. <laughs> she's so funny, honestly. Okay, Katie is a goner. Enzo getting another baby soon. <laughs> That'll be his third wife, by the way. Okay, please, please turn the music off. Emiliano's gonna sleep anyways. Like, please, someone turn the music off. Oh, thank God. Thank the Lord. Right, let's put on my music instead. There we go. Uh, oh, there was a safe reminder. Oh no. Now Enzo's, why is he angry? Is he angry because his wife just got up and left and was rude? Probably. And now he's arguing with Charlotte. Oh God. Like Enzo, you can leave, babe. Like you can, you can leave. You, everyone can get up now. Okay. <laughs> I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna reset him as well so that he can leave because he can't leave until the chairs are unstuck. Okay, well, uh, Emiliano is upstairs. He is waiting for his woman. Neve's gonna come up and ask to woohoo with him because she was asking that earlier. So since she was just begging for that, I guess we'll let them. Hi, Kenzie. Oh, my love. I love you so much. That's okay. That's no worries. Thank you so much for the tier two for five months. Thank you. Thank you. Guys, please, can we get some love in the chat for Kenzie for nearly half a year as well, please? And with the tier two, my love. Thank you so much. That's very, very sweet of you. Thank you. Thank you. Um, Graham, it's a Saturday night. He's also a gamer. And as any gamers know, we don't go to bed at half one on a Saturday night. So I'm going to let him come. Oh, I think my body hurt, um, hurt a leg. Um, we're going to go let him play a game. Let's. Um, oh, we need to sort out the router. We'll do that tomorrow. Um, I'm going to let him play Incredible Sports. <laughs> let him what? I said let let them woohoo, right? That was what I said, right, guys? Pretty sure I did. Um, okay, Charlotte, you can come upstairs, come and get some sleep. And then Graham's coming up to play. Ginger, oh, is sitting downstairs chatting with Charlotte. Honestly, Graham is the most relatable one here. Facts. Serious facts there. Um, Ginger, you can come get some sleep. What's this? Thanksgiving was awful. Why was it awful? We still had a family dinner. It was still nice. Um, anyone that I need to know having babies? No. No one that I need to know is having babies. Good. Hi, AC. It's welcome in. How are you doing? Yeah, we need to get uh, the uh, get Neve and Emiliano off of uh, birth control because they're elders now, so it literally doesn't even matter. <laughs> All right, you guys get some sleep. I think everyone's asleep other than Graham, who is up playing video games, which honestly, fattest mood I've ever seen. Look at this. He's so funny, honestly. Hi, Libs. I'm good, thanks. How are you? I hope you're good. I'm just trying to figure out what's going on. I think Bonnie's really excited my mom's home. <laughs> I came so late, but hi. Hi, Michelle. Welcome in. How are you doing? Okay, guys. Tomorrow's goal, okay? 
before this episode ends of the Joy of Life finale, we need to max Neve's baking skill. And I need to figure out a way of getting her baking skill up quicker. So either we read a book tomorrow <laughs> or we get the cupcake baking machine and we use that instead. I don't know. <laughs> Hi, Vyra. Welcome in. Uh, can Graham start streaming his gameplay? Yeah, I think so. But right now, the internet isn't properly set up. Oh, hi, Queenie. Um, right now, the internet isn't properly set up. So we need to do that. Because he can't play Sim Scuffle right now. Please make sure the device is within range of an internet with Sims Z internet service activated. Um, I thought the router was on, though. Install internet service. Can he do it himself? Honestly, I wouldn't put it past him to just install the internet himself. He'd probably be smart enough to like plug it into the wall. You know, with the little the telephone cable that you normally you have to do it. Let's let him go plug it in. Like, he doesn't need to call anybody. <laughs> oh, oh wow, he's he's really setting up this internet just so we can play online. Honestly, this is me. The amount of times. Oh, can we from the grave oh hey baby should i go and give her a treat in the grave queenie's a ghost yeah queenie's queenie's been been passed away for a long time you know what queenie never comes out though it's kind of surprising that she's come out are you gonna Criminal presence? Could that sim be a criminal mastermind? What should a sim do? Oh my god, he installed it himself? Oh, he's so smart, honestly. He's so good. Nib -nub. Second. Okay, so we should be able to go upstairs and go online now, but it's kind of late. It's like 4 a.m. So I'm going to let him probably get some sleep now. When did Queenie die? Queenie died a while ago, actually. Quite a while ago. Hi, Eclipsy. Welcome in. Hi, Lauren. Hi, chat. You already know what I'm going to say. <laughs> I'm sorry I'm late. I was taking a nap. That's okay. I, I hope it was tired. a good nap, though. <laughs> but is my of course. Well. <laughs> I'm excited and sad for the end of Generation 1. I know. Me to too. I love her, but I'm also excited to see Ginger in action. I love her, too. But anyways, I just came to say hi and show that I'm present, as I always do. Even though I don't talk much in chat, um, I'm here. I love you, my little flower. Okay, brother, can you just go upstairs and go to bed, like, please? <laughs> um, thank you so much, Eclipsy. Guys, can we get some love in the chat for Eclipsy as well, please? That's very, very sweet of you. Thank you so much, my love. And I hope you're, uh, I hope you're all good as well. And I hope that nap was the best nap ever. <laughs> okay, you go on upstairs. You get some sleep. Is he in that after school activity yet? He is not. Oh, wait, actually, I think for, for Graham to get into the after school activity for the uh the PC club or whatever it was, he has to do that thing online. Where was it? Um school. School and no, no. I don't know where it is. I think I'm going to have to have him do it. But he's going to have to, like, do a computer team thing. Do you guys remember? It, like, to be able to get onto the computer team, he has to make a website or something. Like, that was the requirements of it. Yeah, he was working on it, wasn't he? Have you checked Reese's uni application? He still hasn't, like, submitted and gone for, like, the interviews and stuff. So he hasn't, like, completed enough of it yet. He's still got a while to go, at least. Um, oh no, not talk like a pirate day. Sorry, that one's got to go. We don't respect that one here. <laughs> that one's got to be gone. Uh, if we're finishing this game, can Neve be uploaded to the gallery? She can. Now that I will officially be done playing with her, I will up no I bleh, sorry, I will upload Neve um, and Emiliano, and I'll also upload um, the uh, house as well because I know a lot of you guys have been asking for the. The new version of the house and since it's like in its final form now i'm okay with uploading it <laughs> we respect all holidays except that one i'm sorry that holiday it just no like that one's not allowed i don't care <laughs> all right charlotte why don't you go take a shower she wants to complain about her love life and travel to the gym i guess it's a saturday we can take her to the gym i might i wonder if i can have her go to the gym via the phone so that i don't actually have to go with her 
Um, hang out with new sims. Travel volunteer. Uh, I think there is something in here. Social. Maybe AD Pindigo. Family activities. Youth activities. No, she doesn't get included in that. Can I not just send her off to the gym without having to go with her? Because as much as I love Charlotte, I really need to spend the day with Neve since it's like the final episode with her properly. Can I just send her to the gym by herself? Um, is the gym in here? Health center? Yeah, she can go to the health center. That'll do. Yeah, off you go. Go to the health center. Oh yeah, she's already in her fitness gear. Beautiful. Um, oh wait, hold on, I'm missing a text. Um, okay, no, we're good, we're good, we're fine. Check, oh, yeah, you're right, it was in the career category. I wonder if he's got, like, something to finish here. Yeah. Career? Oh, continue making website page. He can do that when he wakes up then. Yeah, I'll have him do that today so that when he goes to school on Monday, he'll officially be in the computer team club. I think that'll be good for him. Um... Yeah, I remember the rabbit hole mod, but I think I uninstalled it because I stopped using it. But in a family like this, it's actually very useful. <laughs> uh, okay, so Ginger's going to come grab some dragon fruit for breakfast. Mmm, yummy. It looks pretty good. Um, and I kind of want her to spend some time with her friends today. It's Saturday. She had um, Yasmin ask her if she wanted to go around her house yesterday as well. So I feel like she should maybe do that for the morning. And then um, when Neve wakes up, which hopefully should be soon, she's going to go to the bakery with her. So maybe until Neve goes to the bakery. Actually, we should really have Neve go to the bakery right now. Okay, sorry, Neve. You need to get up. The bakery is uh, is waiting. Okay, you come downstairs. Come take a shower here. Ginger, you need to use the toilet before we leave. So go upstairs, use the toilet, and then we'll get ready to go. Oh, Severe bacterial disease. Niece just feels awful. From a sore back, she feels a little off. She isn't sure what's wrong, but she's certain that something is quite wrong. Neve needs to go to the doctors. <laughs> oh my god. I can't be having Neve die on me in the last episode. Imagine this is the finale and she dies. Like, how, like, how is that going to... I can't let that happen. Oh my god, she's covered in... Oh no. Oh my god. Oh. No, I can't, I can't take her to the bakery like that. She'll infect everyone. Look at her. Look at her. I can't send her to the bakery like this. Oh, my. <laughs> right. She's got to go to the hospital. She's got to go to the doctors. <laughs> right. Healthcare services. Um, I'm going to have a Miliano. I, I'm going to have a Miliano wake up and go with her as well. Wow. Ew. What is that? I don't know. I mean, I think she's kind of confused about it too. I'm going to have her go to the doctor. Um... I think she needs to go to a GP. Feeling sick. They can diagnose all diseases. Yeah, okay. Her and Emiliano are going to go to the doctors. Oh, and now she's sneezing. Oh, she is not feeling well. Yeah, Emiliano's going to meet her there as well. Oh, how am I supposed to? How am I supposed to complete her baking skill when she's, like, going to be away and sick? Oh, no. Well, I guess maybe we don't open the bakery and we just spend the day reading. Um... Like a bakery book. Maybe we just do that. Neve does not have the Wi-Fi password. Um, okay, you come and get the Wi-Fi password. She said, my gen is not over yet. <laughs> yeah, in before she bloody dies from this bacterial infection. Please don't. Oh, that was a joke. It was a joke. No, Shay, I'm not going to cheat it. I'm not going to do it. I'm not going to do it. <laughs> Okay, purchase books. I'm going to purchase the last baking book and I'll just have her sit and read. Since she's not going to be able to go to the bakery today, she's going to be too sick. It's just not going to happen. I'll have her um, read the baking book instead. I Like, how has she not finished the baking skill? That's what I'm saying. How is that possible? Okay, Reese, I'm going to have him... Um, I'm going to have him do... Um, here's, uh, what do you call it? Here's university application. So what more does he need to do? Study, start study course for university entry exams. 
write his application or schedule the admissions interview. I'm going to have him start writing the applications essay. Um, Because I kind of want to try and get as much done as possible of this. The pics of young Neve and Emiliano are going to make me cry. I know. Oh, it was seven simoleons. Oh, she got a foot rub while she was there. Oh, what a queen. Love that for her. Good job. <laughs> Why is Emiliano uncomfortable? Um, He was upset because he got offered a job at a business and he took it and he feels bad for leaving his freelance job, which by the way, he never even did as a job. He had it like he was a freelancer, but he never did anything. So, you know. Uh, oh no, Neva's been diagnosed with sinusitis. Okay, I'm sorry, sinusitis is not is not fun. Um, she can fill this prescription of antibiotics via the online pharmacy or attempt to treat this disease at home with natural remedies. No, we're gonna we're gonna take the antibiotics. Okay, we'll do that. Um, a prescription can be filled via the online pharmacy. Oh my god, you can't be having my <laughs> you can't be having my my last gen die like right now. Alfonso or Panaya? <laughs> Why the rashes though? I'm not quite sure. Sinusitis doesn't give you the rashes, but maybe she's just, I don't know. She's really sick, she's really sick. <laughs> Order from online pharmacy. Um, it is a prescription of penicillin. All right, let's go get that. It's found in her inventory. Let's have her take the antibiotics. They should start working. Oh my God, we get it. You've been unemployed for 40 years, Emiliano. <laughs> Uh, oh no, she is not very well. Well, I'm gonna have Neve go back to bed, honestly, because she is. I well, I really want her to go back to bed. Okay, I've got a really good idea. What about if she goes and sits in bed or sits on the bed? Sorry, because for some reason I don't know why your Sims can't relax in bed and read a book. Why is that a thing? I don't understand. I'll have her sit on the edge of the book. Sorry, sit on the edge of the bed and read the baking book that we bought her. I'll put it in the inventory. She can just read it upstairs. Just imagine that she's laying in bed, relaxing while she reads this. Enzo is trying to call Charlotte again. Yes, sure, Uncle Enzo. What do you want to talk about? <laughs> oh, did I manage to sub uh, and gift a sub? Uh, say, yes, you did. Thank you so much for the for the gifted sub earlier. Thank you so much. I'm so sorry I missed that. Um, I can play it again for you on screen. There you go. Yeah, it definitely did come up. Thank you so much, Say. Um, guys, please can we get some love in the chat for Sema? with the gifted sub as well please oh my god she's coughing all over the place <laughs> right you go and oh she... she's far too uncomfortable to do that right okay just just go relax honestly just go relax just just chill out just can you do anything can sims do anything while they relax in bed i feel like she would probably have like an ipad and be watching okay i've actually got a really good idea with that I, feel, I was going to say, I feel like she'd have an iPad and she'd be watching like cooking videos or something. But I think what I'm going to do is move this painting to... I'm just going to make it a bit smaller because I feel like that's a little big. I'm going to move it there. I'm just going to get her a TV to go at the end of the bed. She can only watch TV. Great. I'll get her a TV to go here. Oh, that's a bit big though. Um... Have we got a smaller TV? Oh, that's not any smaller, is it? Um, okay, I'll get this and I'll just size it down by one. Oh god, you can't do that. We need new bed animations. Damn right we do. I was just going to get her this tablet TV. I wonder if she can sit in bed and watch this at the same time. And like maybe have it there. Can she? What do you think? In fact, hold on. Let me see if she can actually do that. I'm going to give her a tablet because I imagine that she'd be watching whilst relaxing in bed. So let me see if I can have her relax on the bed whilst watching some cooking shows. Watch cooking shows for ideas. Has she got to like turn it on? I'm confused. Turn on channel. Maybe she's got to do it this way. I'm really confused right now. Cooking. There you go. Oh, maybe because she had to turn it on. Oh, okay. I see. Hold on. Go relax. And now I think she should be able to watch it. Can you can you just turn your head and watch it? That's really infuriating, honestly. That's really infuriating. Can you just sit on the edge of the bed and watch it? <laughs> okay, that's good enough. Whatever, that's gonna have to do. Hopefully, she's relaxing now. 
<laughs> right, is there any other natural remedies that I can give to her so that she'll feel a little bit better? Um, so they said something about orange juice, right? Maybe I should have Emiliano get her some orange juice and see if that makes her feel better. Emiliano wants to mourn the dead, travel to the club, and hug someone. Oh, I think he wants to, you know, mourn his parents a little bit, which we'll probably do tomorrow because it's Memorial Day, I think. Maybe Reese can give her one of his joints. I'm going to have Emiliano get some orange juice. Um, and we'll give it to Neve. We'll like bring it up to her. Just don't drink it yourself, Emiliano, okay? Don't drink it. It's for Neve. And also uh, empty the tray. I will go upstairs and give it to Neve. Who? Where did you get this cake from? Oh my God. Where did she get this cake from? Oh, no, honestly. Why is she so freaking funny? She always has cake in her inventory. It's so, it's just hilarious. It really is. Oh, she feels like going downstairs. Okay. Emiliano now dislikes arguments. Emiliano can't help but feel, feel frustrated about Ginger clinging to the other side of that argument. In a perfect world, they would both just let it rest and talk about something else. That's so not surprising, honestly. That's so not surprising for them. Oh, look at the whole family sitting down with each other. So cute. Cake's the perfect remedy. She knows. She is just infecting everyone here, though, by the way, guys. I just need to work on her baking skill. Like, how am I supposed to end this off with the finale of the of the challenge when her baking skill isn't even maxed? <laughs> I have one job and I can't even do it because she feels so sick. <sighs> I'm trying to think of what else I could do for her to make her feel better. Maybe... Yeah, there must be some sort of at-home remedy. Brew herbal remedy. Oh, we don't even have the stuff. Elderberry and fireflies to make that. We're never gonna have that. Maybe a bubble bath. Yeah, yeah. Actually, maybe a bubble bath is good. Um, although their shower is broken, I'm gonna have to call someone to come and fix this. Oh, Reese has finally finished his essay. Good job. Um, I'll have him go and um do we'll study the course for the university entry exams lauren just order medicine from the computer she's already on medicine she's um she is currently taking the penicillin but she still has two doses left so you know it's just going to take time she's just going to be sick still a bit of woohoo maybe i don't think a bit of woohoo will make her not sick <laughs> does soup really help If I have her, if I have her eat soup, would it help? I don't know. Who's woohooing? Ginger. It's Ginger. Okay. Okay, Ginger. We see you. What's what's going on? Solo fun. I respect it, girl. You know. You know. Get it. Get it. Look, we need to go out. Okay, we we really do. We need to go out and spend some time with your friends. Honestly, it's always this girl. It really is. Um, I'm going to invite her out with some of her friends. She is just always doing it. Um, where should I have them go? Oh, I don't know. She needs more hobbies. Yeah, well, cooking clearly is not taking up enough of her time. What else could we have her do? Has she got any other likes? She likes fishing, knitting, fitness, and video gaming. We could go to the gym. Maybe we could have her and her friends go to the gym. I think she's old enough to go to the gym, right? Like 15, maybe. Um, okay, so I'll have her invite like our closest friends. So that's like Yasmin, Dominique, Giselle. Um, and probably just those for now. Because she's not really close with the other girls as much. I think we'll do that. Or maybe the park. I'm just trying to think of what she can do as a teenager. And what is available in the world. I don't know. We'll have a look around the town. Let's go. Let's go see. She does actually say she wants to go catch a fish. <laughs> do teenagers really go and be like, hey, do you want to come fishing with me? I feel like that's not something that they do. I don't know. Maybe I'm, maybe I'm confused, but...
She needs a girl's night out. She's also 15, so I don't I don't know. Um, we can have her come to the lounge. Um, oh, the lounge has a gym in it. Yeah, okay, let's go there. The lounge actually has a, a gym in there as well. Ginger doesn't like cooking. Yeah, she actually went through a phase where she's not enjoying cooking as much. So every time she's cooking, she's not enjoying it. Um, however, I kind of intend for her to like, you know, like it, like maybe she'd done it too much, you know, like I like my game to just sort of play out as it does. So I think she will go back to liking cooking, but it's just because she did cooking while she was in a bad mood. So now she doesn't like cooking just for now though. She has to like cooking eventually. Okay. Because otherwise this is not going to work with generation two. <laughs> what save file do you use for this? Let's play. I use Floralia's save file. Baby, where are your shoes? I don't know. Anyways, uh, oh, not Raylan being here. Um, let's go in the gym and let's have them all do an energized workout together. Can you find some shoes as well? Like, <laughs> Ginger, where are your shoes, babes? <laughs> go do some running. Oh, she looks so cute. Where are the girls going? No, where are they going? I want, oh, I'm gonna have to control them so that they can come and run with her. I wish when you did this and you had like, you know, people work out together that they would actually also work out. For some reason they don't, I don't know why. Um, Dominique, I'll control you as well. And then you come and exercise. There you go, rage fueled run. Didn't Raylan get someone pregnant? Uh, oh, no, I don't think he did. No, I don't think so. Did he? <laughs> don't tell me Raylan got someone pregnant. Who? Daniela and... Uh, Daniela shouldn't be here. Is this... This is your... Oh, wait, this isn't your auntie. Okay, sorry. This is the wrong Daniela. You shouldn't even know this one. I'm pretty sure that's the wrong one. You gotta go, because you're not supposed to be here. Dominique must have seen a hottie to be doing her makeup at the gym. She's like, wait, wait, I gotta put my makeup on. <laughs> Not the girls, all dressed in pink. It's almost like they planned this. What, what is this? <laughs> Who is this? Jonas? Why is she really good friends with this guy? I don't know. Did we miss a notification? Oh my God, don't tell me Raylan's, Raylan's got another girl pregnant and is about to have a baby. On Saturdays, we wear pink. <laughs> I swear they must have messaged about this because there's no way. Like, what about the other girl? Where is she? I invited, um, where is she? Has she gone, has she gone home? Where is she? She's not in the library, is she? It was Giselle, wasn't it? No, I don't think she's here. I heard controller sim was broken, is it fixed? Um, it's not actually had an update. Like, I just keep using it. It is still supposed to be broken, but I don't know. It still works for me, so I just keep using it. <laughs> She's there? Let me, let me find her. Um, Giselle? Oh, no, she is here. Focus camera. Oh, why is she sitting in here by herself? Oh, no, don't make me feel bad now. Maybe she felt left out. Oh, come and encourage her to work out. Oh, no, I feel bad. Oh, no. She's in the other building. Now, like, now I actually feel bad. Is she coming in to work out? But now we're leaving. No, you can't leave. No, no, you got to come in here and sit with her while she, while she exercises. That's not fair. And then hopefully when we get home, guys, Neve will be feeling a bit better so that we can max her skill, right? <laughs> right? Why don't you do some boxing while you wait? Oh, she felt left out because she didn't bring the pink workout gear. Yeah, she was just like, oh, oh, we were all supposed to wear pink. She didn't get that. She didn't get the memo. Not them bullying her. No, no, no. Ginger wouldn't. She, she'd stay here with her until she finished her workout. Nice preset of G-Shade, by the way. Looks clean. Thank you. I, uh, it's not my own preset, but I did custom, well, I, I say it's not my own preset. I'm using someone's base, but I customized it myself to, to my liking. 
Oh my goodness. Sorry. When did Ginger get so good at boxing? I Okay, I have no idea. Ginger is such a sweet girl. I imagine her always looking out for people. I don't imagine her being mean to other people. I just I can't really see that for her. I feel like she would she would be really nice with with other people. Like I feel like she wouldn't want her friends to feel left out. Um I am going to stop controlling her friends though. Damn Ginger beating that bag up. Oh, I really want to show you guys the high school as well. I really want to do that. Um okay, don't control Sim and then I'll do the same to Dominique as well. Um, I really want to show you guys the high school. We'll get a chance to see it in the next episode as well. But like, we'll stop by on our way home. Yeah, just so you guys can see it. So whilst we're on our way back, uh, poor Neve is not feeling well. Can I have a build? Oh, I really wish I could have a build baking skill while I was gone. Um, okay, Ginger's just going to grab some food and then we will be heading home in a second. Except Graham, apparently. <laughs> She needs a girls' night out. I feel like it would be nice to have a, a sleepover with her friends. I think that would be good for Ginger. Um, right, okay, let's go travel. Oh, I literally cannot wait for you guys to see this high school. Oh, it's so good. Can you send Neve to a baking class? Ooh, I might be able to. I mean, I, I would kind of feel a bit bad though. <laughs> She's got like sinusitis and I'm throwing and she feels awful. She hasn't even got out of bed all day. And then I'm like, hey, go to a baking class. She'd hate me. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure he got with someone and then she was pregnant. Oh, no. I need to see. I need to see if Raylan ends up having a baby with someone. Imagine telling a pro baker she needs to start taking lessons. Oh, sh she would be offended. <laughs> Wait, we can send our sims to sim to skill classes. I think you can, um, but I don't know how. <laughs> yeah, is it with it? Do you actually have to do it in the university building? So, <laughs> guys, okay, this is the high school, by the way. So, in the next episode of the uh, Joy of Life Challenge, which will be on Sunday evening, the same time as this stream was, but on Sunday instead, um, we're gonna be sending Ginger to the high school. I downloaded this high school, which just freaking look at it. It is literally amazing. And I also customized it to suit what was going on. I even made a whole um, kitchen over here as well. Like this place wasn't even here. So I made this, it's not fully decorated, obviously it's quite like bare, but I made this full kitchen so that we can do like cook-offs and things. Cause I want to make a cooking club um, that she can stay after school with um, and she can like set up group activities and they can do like uh, bake-offs and stuff like that. We can do like cute little things with her and the, you know, the people that are in the cooking club. So uh, yeah, I kind of want to give them a cooking teacher, someone that can mentor them as well. So that is a little cooking area that she spend a lot of time in. But this is what the um, school looks like as well. It's very pretty. And um, I also had to edit the rooms because there is going to be uh, 12 students, I believe, in each class. So I had to make sure that I had enough, um, you know, room as well. So yeah, it's uh, it's really good. And um, yeah, it's beautiful. Honestly, it's very good. It's going to be really cool, I think. And it, I feel like it just really suits the area as well, like in Tartosa. So it's going to be beautiful. Right. Okay, let's go home. Sorry, I just wanted to show you that before we left. <laughs> Maybe that one adult she's really good friends with can be the teacher. Oh, that mixologist guy? Yeah, he could have... You know what? He actually could be the teacher. We could have made him a cooking teacher. That could have been cool. Yeah, you know, we could actually do that. Maybe that's how she knows him. Where is he? He should be in a friends list. I don't know. He should be, like, somewhere up here. Oh, Jonas. Yeah, maybe Jonas is the... Maybe he's the, the cooking teacher. We could make him the cooking teacher. Uh, prom is starting. I'm going to have her skip prom. She's still got until... Yeah, we'll do uh, next Saturday's prom, which will basically be on New Year's Eve, I think. Um, next to you, Boo, with the gifted sub. Thank you so much for being so generous and gifting a sub as well. Guys, please, can we get some love in the chat for next to you, Boo, as well? 
not Raylan being there? Is he stalking her? Honestly, wouldn't even be surprised. That guy needs to let it go. <laughs> they only have one week of teenhood left. I can't believe that. I know. I, I think I'm going to leave it as the way that it is, though, because it would be good to, like, start the uh, next generation with, like, not too much of her teenage life left so that we can, like, jump into, you know, like, her life and her moving out, which, honestly... I cannot even believe that at one point, like in the near future, we are not even going to be living in this house anymore. We are going to be moving away with Ginger. We're going to be off to university, doing her culinary arts um, degree. And it's just going to be crazy, honestly. I can't believe it. It's going to be so fun, though. I'm very excited. I know, nearly young adults. Crazy. Oh, she's still feeling really sick. She says that she's combating an illness from a home remedy, but she still doesn't feel great. And I don't think she can read still. Damn it. How can I improve her baking skill? Can I just have her bake? I'm trying to think of how. Oh, wait, I've got an idea. I've got an idea. I've got an idea. Right, mods. Lumpinu. Lumpy new recipes. Okay, so if I have her make pumpkin spice latte cake, raspberry lemon tart, raspberry... So a lot of the cakes. Pretty much all the cakes and the bread. It should improve her baking skill. Okay, so these are the ones that come with the Lumpy news cooking. Uh, sorry, yeah, the Granny's cookbook. If I go in here and click on desserts, these should be... I know they say cooking level 10, but I installed a modded version of them that should allow them to use the, the baking skill. I hope that works. Let's see. I just love how every single time that either Reese or Ginny get home, they just hug each other like they've been apart. Do they really? Oh my God, they are sitting there hugging. They're sitting there chatting with each other. They're so close, aren't they? It's so cute. <gasps> Hi, a bunch of us were going to check out that new action movie that came out last weekend. We were going to sneak in and watch it tonight. Oh, yes. Okay, I definitely imagine Ginger going tonight. She has the opportunity to, especially since her mom's sick. So I'm going to have her do it. Ginger has accepted the invite now, but needs to find a way there. She could ask for permission or try to leave and hope no one catches her. Um, I feel like she would just ask her mom. Honestly, she's so close with her mom. I feel like she would just ask for permission to go. So I'm just going to have her straight up ask. Um, I'm going to ask for permission to go out with friends. And I hope Area she says yes. Uh, is that a phone call um, overhaul mod out. or something? Yes. Well, yeah, it is. I believe it's one of AD Pindigo's new mods. I don't know if it's available yet. Okay. Is her baking skill going up? Oh. That looks like the baking skill. Yes, it is. 44. Why does it hardly go up though? Like, it, oh. No, it's going up a bit quicker now. Okay, so we just have to bake specific foods with the Granny's Cookbook mod, and then it works. Well, we're just going to spend the entire night baking. I'm sorry, Neve. Like, I am really sorry. You're not going to be enjoying me. You're not going to be happy with me, but it has to be done. It's also really dirty in here, she's complaining about. I think because of this plate that Emilia just decided to leave there instead of clean up. <laughs> Can you please help us clean up? Um, I thought Ginger was going to ask Neve if she could, maybe because she's busy. She was going to ask for permission to go. Ask for permission to go out with friends. Douglas is calling? No, we're good, thanks. Why is she crying? She's so dramatic. <laughs> is she going to come talk to you? Yes. Okay, right. She's going to ask. Please, Neve, let her go out. Let her go see the movie with our friends. <laughs> Hi, Charlotte. Welcome in. How are you? Is she going to say yes? Please, Mom. Please, can I go see the action movie with my friends? It just came out last weekend. Oh, please tell me she's close to maxing it. Did she say yes? Of course you can go. Have fun and be safe. Oh, yay! She could go. Okay, how do I have her leave? Do I actually click on her? Prepare for next. I think I just click on the floor. Go to movies with friends. Yes, you can go to movies. 
Let me see what choice of outfit. Very cute. Very cute. I like that one. <laughs> Yay. Okay, she's allowed to go. I was hoping that she was going to let her. Right, how is the baking skill going? What, what percentage? 47%, guys. It's going to take so long. <laughs> Better buckle in, okay? Let's go again. <laughs> Literally about to be up all night. Dessert. Let's do... Oh, I've got a good idea. Okay. Normally, I never use these in game, but look at her, okay? Like, I look, she's, she's literally having an awful time. I'm just going to go into the reward store, okay? And I'm going to buy her the... Um, where is it? Well, for one, I think we're going to need a sleep replacement, but not yet. I'm going to get rid of the bad moodlets. I'm not sure which one it is, though. Gym rat. Moodlet solver. There we go. Right, I'm going to buy this. I'm going to have her take it. And then she shouldn't feel as awful. And then she should be able to just sit and, and bake and be happy. And breathe. <laughs> Uh, Nadia, thank you so much for the follow. Welcome in. Drink the magic drink. <laughs> Ta-da! Magic! They're gone. Okay, so other than her having that mild disease that mends in 16 hours. Knee's condition is improving and she feels a little bit better. So it doesn't get rid of it completely. I think I have to have her keep drinking it to get rid of it. <laughs> can she at least read now though? She's not very uncomfortable. Maybe she can read now. Yes, she can. Okay, I'm just going to have her go sit and read. Go, go, go. <laughs> a little acid solves everything. Really takes your mind off of being sick. <laughs> there you go. I mean, I really wish she... Actually, I'm pretty sure there is a mod. I need to install that where they can lay in bed and read a book. I'm pretty sure it's by... Um... Who now? Who now? Oh, my God. The kids in this family are saucy, guys. <laughs> they are saucy. I didn't know. Yeah, it's actually really useful, to be honest. It really is. Her skill is not going up, though. Reese has unlocked the single and loving it lifestyle. Well, guys, there's just no hope of him getting, getting a girlfriend, I guess. He is just... Oh, my God. What's going on? Feeling a little bored from reading a book at a low skill level. Wasn't it a level three book? There's literally nothing higher than level three. Guys, what do I do? <laughs> she can't read the book because apparently it's too low level. Yeah, she's level nine. Can you not read the book for the last level? Does it like, does it stop at level nine? I'm literally just going to have to have her sit here and bake all night. Like that's the only options. I guess we will just sit and bake all night. Um, let's make... I'm trying to think of what other ones. Chocolate trifle. That one's probably a, a baking skill one. Oh, it stops midway through level nine. Really? You're on a level nine book. You're on level nine. Book won't help anymore. So for level nine, you just can't use the book anymore. I didn't even know that. How, have I, how am I actual... How am I a professional Sims player? Like, actually. And how do I not know that? That's awfully embarrassing. Wait, this isn't improving her baking skill. Oh no. Wait, it is. Maybe? No? It, this isn't working. That one didn't work. <gasps> oh no! That's not baking. Oh my god. Okay, let me, let me go back to my mods. Let me see specifically what ones improve the baking skill and then I'll just have her make those. You know, I'm not gonna be picky. That's fine. Right, baking skill. Um, the Greek Easter bread. The famous... Che uh, birthday cake, the Thai mango sticky rice, sweet potato pumpkin pie. Okay, these ones I need to find. Dessert, sweet potato pumpkin pie, pumpkin pie, the star bread. Definitely, I read that one out earlier. Let me do that one. <laughs> yeah, maybe having her become inspired would be good as well. Sorry, how weird was that not baking? That's not cooking. She didn't, she didn't cook anything with this. Whatever. Come on, Nee, focus up, focus up. Imagine going to sleep when your mum is baking, then hours later you wake up and your mum is still baking like crazy. I'd be seriously concerned. <laughs> she is losing her mind down here. <laughs> 
Okay, I'm sorry. Look, Charlotte, I love you, but I need you to just leave your mum alone, okay? She is on a baking rampage tonight, and I just need you to just go go upstairs, okay? Go go do something, please. Just leave her. I need her to work on this skill as much as she can. Um... Ginger just became good friends with Charlotte. Loads of kids just age up into teenagers. That's fine. She has a business to maintain. <laughs> okay, Starbread, great. Where are we looking at on the skill? Please tell me we're at 50%. 49%, guys. It's taking so long. How did, okay, I'm so sorry. How did Ginger max the cooking skill at her little ripe age? But yeah, we can't do this. Mango sticky rice, that was included too. How is that? Hmm? Uh, Night owl trait? Where is that? Retraging potion. Super green thumb. Seldom sleepy. Savant? Okay, I'll do that one. Honestly, she has 8k points. I can really buy whatever I want. Um, And then someone else said... What was it? The... Fish and meat, styles, make appearance, um, night owl. We'll do that one too. Right. Let's hope this improves. <laughs> it's because we're using modded food. I know, but I wish I could just have a, you know, oh, guys, I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. I'm going to buy the freaking cupcake machine. I'm going to do it. Because for some reason I can't cook anything else. I'm just going to buy it. The cupcake machine's coming out. Okay. Will you be uploading the home with the list of the mods that you use? Yeah, so I'll upload it with the uh, CC included. So you'll be able to download it with all the CC. Obviously not the mods, but just CC. She doesn't like cooking now. No, no, no. It's because she's doing... I've got a mod installed where it basically like changes the way that your sim feels about it. Where? Where's the cupcake machine? Is it not called that? Oh, I bet you it's not even called the cupcake machine. Um, large, large cupcake maker. There's no way they removed it out of the game, right? <laughs> There's no way they removed it. It's got to be in here. <laughs> Where is the cupcake machine, guys? No, I've lost it. I think the CC stand mixer. Oh, okay. So maybe I can buy that instead. Wait, this? This should improve her baking skill? Am I right in saying that? This thing. Ah. Okay, I'm just going to get rid of this one in case it doesn't do the same thing. I'll just use this one instead. I'll put it in pink though. I mean, that one looks exactly the same anyways. Okay. Prep ingredients. This is definitely cooking, not baking. Where is the where is the cupcake machine? Oh, is Ginger back? Did she have a good time? Did she like it? That movie wasn't based on a real story, right? It seems so real. Could Ginger really go to sleep tonight? Oh, she's scared. But she also wants to talk with talk with her crush as well. It's so cute. Cooking skill, it's wrong. It increases cooking. Oh my god. Guys, I just looked up cupcake and it didn't even come up. What What is our skill level at? 51%? Did you install Ravishing's cupcake machine replacer? Maybe. Maybe. If I just look up cupcake, but nothing shows up when I look up cupcake. And nothing that was useful. Is it not called the cup? Maybe it's not called the actual cupcake machine. Maybe it's called something different. Oh! Maybe it's this one. It, okay, this one might be it. Just imagine they're different types of stand mixers. This one will go this side. I think this is the replacement one. Oh, yes. Okay, this better be the baking skill. I swear to God. Cook cupcakes. That's still cooking. Why is it still saying? Oh, baking. Okay, baking, baking, baking. Right. Um, Please, please, please. <laughs> please let her baking skill actually go up a decent amount.
Okay. I mean, it's going up. <laughs> it's, it's not... It's not really quick or anything, but it's okay, I guess. <laughs> what just costs 99 simoleons? Is that it? Is she done? That's it. What's the baking skill? Oh my god, it doesn't even go up. Guys, I don't even think it's a modded thing. I just think it's a level 9 baking skill thing. I think it just takes ages to go up. <laughs> like, I don't even think it's a modded issue. We're okay, we're just gonna have to keep doing that all night. Plain muffins, up next. Yeah, she's going to have some good stock for a bakery. We're going to be making lots of money. It's because she's uncomfortable. I can't do anything. She has sinusitis. What do you want from me? She's sick. I can't not make her sick. She's cheated. I'm no cheater. How are we doing? 55%. I'm just going to have her keep doing this. <laughs> she's going to hate me so much. <laughs> All right, put that down, put that in there. We'll just take these all to the bakery tomorrow and sell them all. That'll be fine. Buy her an inspired potion. Ooh, good point. Can I still afford that after I've just spent everything? Um, inspired potion. And then I'll have a drink that. There. Uh, Mookie, Mookie Ami. Hopefully I got that right. Thank you so much for the Prime sub for half a year as well. Thank you, thank you. Guys, can we get some love in the chat for Mookie, please? Yeah. Okay. Drink that. Hopefully that makes her feel better. Yeah, she feels really inspired. Okay, baked pastries. Here we go. Donut holes are up next. Oh, you guys are so good at this. Clearly you've played a lot of challenges where this is required. Okay, how are we looking? 58%? We're so close, guys. We're so close. 62. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Who's that? Oh my god. Plain donut. Let's do that one next. Go, go, go. 63. It's actually moving, guys. 67. Oh, we're so close. Okay, keep going. Keep going. Uh, glazed donuts. She's literally going to be up the entire night. She's actually going crazy. The old age is getting to her. <laughs> Babes, please put the damn donuts down and keep going. We're going again. I personally would have succumbed to tears. You're strong, Lauren. <laughs> Why is everyone else awake at like half three in the morning? Can we get some sleep in here, guys? Like, hello? What are you doing awake? I mean, that kind of makes sense that you're awake. You can go play some Sim Scuffle. Um... Make sure your device is within range of the internet router with the internet activated. I literally activated it last night. Maybe he needs the Wi-Fi password. Maybe that's what it is. Go get the Wi-Fi password. Maybe that was what it was. Or maybe we need a router upstairs. There's no way we need two routers, right? I can't do it. Can he do it on this? Play online game. I'm just, for now, I'm just going to turn it onto the easy mode. Set gameplay to easy mode. Lots wrong require a route and internet service when it's been activated because I don't know how to do anything else. <laughs> right, there we go. Um, and then come and play game. Sim scuffle. Go, go, go. Oh. Come sit here. Charlotte, you go upstairs. Come get some sleep. Emiliano was passed out long ago. Honestly, do not blame him. His wife is like a maniac downstairs, just constantly baking pastries. <laughs> What's got to be done has got to be done. Next up is chocolate donuts. <gasps> How are we looking? How's the skill? Huh. Oh. oh my god, 73% complete. <sighs> did you save recently? Uh, I don't think I did. I'm just going to save now. Honestly, I would, I would literally cry if we lost the progress that we made today. <laughs> Then I would be succumbed to tears. So yeah, good, 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 good thing you mentioned it. Okay. How we doing? How we doing? Seventy-seven percent complete. Beautiful. Someone said to do the high, like the harder quality ones. So I'll do the salmon croquets next. There we go. Put those away. Mm -hmm. Eva's gonna have blisters on her hands. I might cry real tears for her. Oh, eighty percent complete. 82. Oh, what's he doing? 
Maybe Graham should have found someone to ask his questions about Woohoo with. Oh, is he okay? Well, listen, mum's a little busy right now. <laughs> so if you want to chat, you're going to have to come into the kitchen to talk to me, okay? Oh, he just wants some trifle. All right, you eat your trifle then. You enjoy that. <laughs> mum's busy at 4 a.m., 5 a.m. now. <laughs> Oh, she's not inspired anymore. Okay, inspired, inspired moodlet thing again. Inspired potion. Let's go, let's go, let's go. And then go drink it again. I mean, the bakery is literally going to be stacked full. Come on, get that down your neck. Come on. We, we are so close, Steve. Please focus up. Oh my god, the poor... Oh no. Refill my... Oh, we need to polish it and refill it. There we go. Let's go again. I'll clean this up. That machine's gonna break. I think it is. Oh no, and she's getting distracted. Stop getting distracted. Focus. Ugh. And now she's... Now she's like, ugh, everything's disgusting. Bake pastries. Oh, it's fine. Whatever. Just keep going. Fruit tarts. Huh. Uh -huh. Lauren, why is my gift sub not showing up? Is it because I'm in on the phone? I don't know that much about Twitch. No, I think it did show up. I think it did. Didn't it show up? It definitely did, I think. Okay, 86% done. Keep going. Keep going. She doesn't have the inspired moodlet anymore, so it's going to take a little bit longer, but that's fine. Can't talk, kids. Mama's on a roll. <laughs> Mama's busy. <laughs> Why don't you go upstairs and go get some sleep? Okay. Who is woohooing this family? Honestly. What is wrong with them? Every time. Are you done? Bake pastries. Oh, she is so close. Soft shell crab cake next. 88% complete. <gasps> We're so close. We're so close. <laughs> this is crazy, guys. We have literally spent all night. <laughs> she is going to pass out soon. <laughs> Lizzie, no. No. <laughs> That would be too real, honestly. It would, it would be too much. Reese has a girlfriend. It's just his right hand. <laughs> no, what's going on? Okay, it doesn't matter. As long as we get the skill for it, I don't care. Keep going. Go, go. Oh, she's feeling inspired now. 91. 91. She does deserve a spa trip. She deserves she deserves everything after this, honestly. I will I will try to give her everything. Put that away. How close are we? <gasps> okay, we're like one or two more pastries off and we're done. And she's not inspired anymore again. <laughs> oh no. Go, go, go. Ninety-seven percent complete. Please, we're so close. Please. Oh my god, one more pastry. One more pastry, and we're done. One more. Oh, I can't wait. Please, let it be over. <laughs> and she's not even sleepy because she's in that mojo right now. This is her. This is what she's made for. This is Neve's life history right here, building up this one last pastry. Please. Please. Come on. Come on. Hey. This is 100%. What do you mean? Okay, one more. One more, apparently. Go. <gasps> it's done! And Neve has been quite a perfectionist lately. Neve thinks things should be done with high skill and lots of focus. Yes, damn right she is. Oh, it's finally done. 
Read level 10 of the baking skill. Wait, was that a red moodle underneath? Okay, someone's here. Um, she can now bake lava, cake, uh, cow plant essence, meringue pie, and she can also bake eclairs um, and alien fruit tarts at the cupcake factory. <gasps> we are finally done, guys. Generation one is officially finished. And you know what? After all of that hard work, I'm gonna let her eat one of these things that she makes. <laughs> Where'd you put him? Literally back here. Yeah, go and eat some. Because honestly, you just des you deserve it. You deserve everything right now. Get her a drink in her hand and now <laughs> she stayed up all night baking, but she finally did it. Oh my god, I thought she was about to die. I literally thought she was about to die then. No, I'm not even kidding. I thought she was about to literally just conk it. She's fine. She's fine. <sighs> okay, come and um pick up a serving come and grab some there you go eat your berry macaroon what do you mean they're they coming down with something she's already sick oh my god unless something's going around no don't i'm just gonna save look at her face right now <laughs> i deserve it <laughs> please at least she fulfilled the goals we are officially done, guys. I'm so excited. Oh, this is when it doesn't save. Like, why is it taking so long? And why did it, why did it best to accept? Why, though? That's really quite concerned. I'm just going to save again, just in case. Quite concerned over that. Just in case it didn't actually save properly. Why would it do that? Why would it do that to me? <laughs> okay, definitely save. We're good. Okay, guys. Attack of Titan face, actually. She's honestly just not having a good time. I, I really don't blame her. Like, I had her stay up all night baking. But it was more than worth it because we have officially completed the Generation 1 of the Joy of Life Challenge. It's done. Oh my god, it's over. And now I can go back to my checklist. Let me open it up. Mm. We can go back to our checklist and we can officially tick off the baking skill, which means every single uh, goal for generation one of the Joy of Life Challenge is officially completed. And in the next episode or next stream on Sunday, we get to move on to generation two, which is Chef It Up. And we have our baby Ginger as the heir who is currently doing big sleeps right now in bed. Huge sleeps. Look at her, so cute. This is going to be our Generation 2 air. <gasps> You're free, Neve. We're taking the ball and chain off. You can leave the kitchen. You can sleep. You can pee. <laughs> now she's going to decide she doesn't like cooking. Honestly, I wouldn't even blame her. If she decides after this she doesn't like cooking, I'll, I'll be okay with it. I really would. <laughs> okay. We are officially done, guys. I'm very, very excited. Thank you so much for joining me today. I am going to go ahead and have to wrap it up here. So I'm going to be leaving it off here. I hope you guys have an amazing rest of your morning, afternoon, evenings. I also hope you guys enjoyed Generation 1 of the Joy of Life Challenge. I hope it was as amazing as I thought it was. I really, really enjoyed it. Honestly, it's been one of my favorite challenges to play so far. And if you guys did enjoy it, remember to go ahead and leave a like. Subscribe down below if you are new and let me know what you thought in the comment section. Also remember to go ahead and follow me on my Twitch where I actually stream this series live. And of course, um, follow me on my other YouTube channel, which is Miss Lollipop Sims and subscribe to that channel. That is my main YouTube channel for my Sims stuff as well. So yeah, I love you guys and I'll speak to you in the next one. Bye guys.